Do you want to grow some cool Nippon tests on your windowsill with uh, big pictures like uh, this one? Today we'll talk about Nippon test truncata, a species that can grow very well on a windowsill and uh, let's jump in. Hi, my name is Remy and I love Nippon test. Okay, so Nippon test truncata on Wikipedia. Uh, we can see uh, it's a pitcher plant. It's from Midano, so it's in the Philippines. Uh, so Philippine uh, species, uh, 0 to 1,500 meters, so it's kind of uh, intermediate to lowland. And when uh, Nepotes roncatlii was discovered, they thought it was a kind of uh, Nepotes roncata. So let's uh, check some pictures uh, in the wild. Uh, we'll see that uh, there is a lot of trees there. Definitely, uh, it's really a forest. Uh, super humid, but you see by the moss, it's uh, really, really humid, at least at night and uh, shadowy. Uh, let's see another picture here. So yeah, in the shadow. So uh, definitely not a species uh, that you want to grow in a full sun, even if it will handle it, depending where you live. But now let's see uh, where is uh, the habitat. So we said uh, Philippines, so let's have a look on the other side of the planet. So here, uh, we'll zoom, it's me, da, now. Uh, there is also some uh, on this tiny island there. So let's check this one, for example. So for now, it's really pretty green, right? So it's a tropical climate. The mountain don't looks that high, I mean, uh, they are, but uh, that's really, really green, so humid. Uh, let's check what kind of uh, temperature it needs, and for that, I know uh, the best website. Tom's Carnivores, uh, there is an uh, interactive guide. Uh, let's type uh, Truncata. Okay, so it's the first half, so uh, lowland to intermediate, uh, kind of. So uh, zero meter to 1,500 and uh, 25 to 35. So it will handle quite some heat and the night uh, can be cold, but because we will have some highland truncata and lowland truncata, that's why it's so broad. But I have doubt that uh, the highland truncata will handle a warm night. Even if there is great variability, they still evolve to handle this kind of condition. So check what you want to buy. And now if you scroll uh, even lower, you can go by uh, alphabetical order. Let's see the truncata here. So this kind of graphic is uh, what I'm uh, looking for. I will show you why. So quickly, and for beginners, I want to explain the condition uh, Nipotes grows. There is three kinds. Uh, the first, the lower part where it's close to the level of the sea, is the lowland. It's warm day and night. Then we have the intermediate. The intermediates are where uh, it will be uh, slightly colder at night, but not really cold. And then we have the highland, where it's really cold at night. But if we check the data from uh, Tom's Carnivore, uh, we'll see that there is uh, some truncata on the lowland area and on the intermediate, but not on the highland. So even a highland truncata is usually borderline highland, but more in the intermediate part. So for me, a Nepotes truncata is uh, great for windowsill. Uh, that's a plant that will uh, be uh, as adaptable as a Maxima or a Ventricosa, but uh, just bigger. Uh, truncata is unique for that. That's big pictures. And on the windowsill, it will be uh, able to grow nicely. So two years and a half, uh, I received this small truncata. And it was really tiny. But uh, then if we check that uh, this month, two years and a half uh, year after, it's got big. So it was super slow at the beginning. So relax, if you got one, it will be super slow at the beginning. But then when it's starting to do a, a leaf jump and pitcher jump after a pitcher jump, uh, that's gonna grow nicely. When it's freshly open, that's gonna be like that. 
so stripes for my uh, plants. Uh, and then when uh, it uh, age, the same exact picture will have this kind of, uh, I don't know, bronze maybe color. And under the lid, you will have this uh, nectar gland that is uh, pretty classic for Truncata. Something else that is pretty classic is the fact that there is no wings on the front of the body of the pitcher when it's adult. So when it was sub-adult, two pictures ago, it was uh, w with uh, wings, you can see that, but now there is none. And if we have a closer look on this uh, body pitcher, there is some indumentum, uh, the hairs on the pitcher that uh, are supposed to collect uh, humidity. And again, the younger pictures had wings. So it's pretty obvious that now it's uh, almost adult. And when it's happy, uh, it will produce some uh, nectar on the body of the pitcher. It's super sticky. As you see, it's no longer liquid. Maybe because it's kind of a dry on my windowsill. But uh, yeah, it produces a lot of nectar. So Nepotes truncata is uh, known to produce uh, huge pitchers, but uh, the leaves are also huge. So there is this uh, marks on the leaves for me, uh, maybe too much light, I don't know, but it's picturing and happy and the size of my hand. Another characteristic of uh, the truncata is the way the stem uh, and the leaves attach. One uh, exit the previous one, literally. I don't know how to say that better, but you see that each leaf will uh, have another one growing on it and uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So that's uh, really obvious. Let me show you from the top. As you see, it comes from inside. You don't really see the stem or the uh, dormant nodes. If you know what could cause the, this uh, damage, uh, let me know. But I know it's not something that will prevent the plant to grow or to picture. Uh, let me show you the stem. This is a vitiae. You see, it's the same way. They are attached. Uh, you don't see the stem. Every leaf is uh, going out of the previous one. But if I compare that with uh, the ventricosa, we see that there is a stem. And even the others' uh, plants will always have a stem. So th that's pretty unique for Truncata. It will uh, not have really stem. And that's maybe why it's not known to vine. Okay, so let's talk about the lid now. So the lid, uh, it's colorful, it's nice. Uh, we see there is a, a spear here. I don't know if you can see it here. So this is, uh, again, something characteristic of Truncata. Yeah, here we'll see it uh, better. Uh, I don't know what is uh, this for, but uh, I mean, uh, some Nepotes will have some and uh, some don't. And inside it's pretty green, uh, pixels all the time. Uh, I love that. So it's not a fast growing plant. Last year, uh, I uh, checked how many days uh, this uh, plant was able to produce a brand new leaf. And uh, as you see, it took 80 days. So don't uh, rush. Uh, the pictures are great, big. The leaves are great, again. But it takes time to produce this uh, big plant material. And when the pictures uh, are forming, they are hairy, like this one. Okay, now let's talk about the ratio, leaf picture. This is a small uh, seedling. And uh, if I check the size of the leaves, so it's like a, a third of an inch. And if I check the size of the biggest picture, that's one full inch. So usually at small seedlings, it will be like uh, the pitcher being three times bigger than the leaf. And on this uh, very tiny one, uh, yeah, it's even hard to see uh, the size of the leaf. It's like only pitchers. On this other clone, uh, that's the red passion, 
Uh, Red Pazian uh, is also growing nicely. Uh, a lot of pictures. This is the last one. The ratio now it's uh, like the same size uh, leaf and pictures. And this last picture is a picture jump, so it's bigger. Uh, let's see how it goes. And the way the leaves are attached to the stem are always the same, even at small scale. Uh, let me show you on another uh, hybrid this time. So this is Truncata by Mira. Uh, as you see, the shape is even more Truncata. Uh, that's clearly a heart shape. And the truncated leaves, uh, it's like a little stem that goes out the main stem and then you have the leaf expanding. And this one, because that's a cross and often uh, young plants will have this kind of a darker uh, upper part, but uh, you can tell this one is just open, full of liquid. So it's a pretty healthy and pretty tall uh, picture. Now another hybrid, this one. Uh, still, you can still see some truncata in it. Uh, if I check the, the shape of the leaves, that's good. But again, the way they are attached, uh, it's clearly a truncata. And if we check the tendril, uh, it's almost always really thick. The tendril of truncata are never really thin. Uh, that's a big tendril that will have a big picture for sure. Let me show you the picture now. So, uh, beautiful cross for sure. The body is uh, robust for sure. It's not thin. Uh, what else? The lid. Uh, there is uh, again uh, these uh, little hairs on it, but we cannot see under the lid this nectar gland. So, overall, a good uh, truncata cross. Do you grow Nepotes Truncata on your windowsill? If yes, put in the comments how you do that uh, so everybody can learn from you. So until next time, happy growing.